Um, in our last lesson, we worked on the read more. So the read more section was completed, but the about us page does not exist. So that's what we are going to work on. So this is what the about us page looks like. Uh, it's very simple. And also we're going to work on the archive section. So I'm going to make a new file and save, uh, save this new file as about.html. And I will copy everything from article, so, and then paste it within our about us page and change all the about references, um, article references to about. I'm going to get rid of this article, CSS, and um, nothing to change here, and nothing to change in our profile section. So I will delete everything within our right column. Okay, so like that, and that's it. So we can save this and go back to the browser, reset, so we can see uh, we have an About Us page. So we're going to start writing some headers and leading texts. So first, we're going to add a H1 to put About as a title. So we'll make our leading style like this, add a dummy text to it. Okay, so just delete a bit of this. Okay, so now um, below, I'm going to add a horizontal rule. Okay, add a paragraph text. So we have header, leading text, horizontal rule, paragraph text, and copy our paragraph text so we have two and this pretty much completes um, the about us page okay very straightforward so the next page we're going to uh, well we need to work on on this being the active page so if I go to our navigation section and go down to line 38 I'm going to copy this or cut it get rid of it from there and put it here so save this so we have our about us section is highlighted for us okay so the next page is the archive which doesn't exist so we're going to uh, make that file so I'll copy everything from our about us and make a new file and save this file as archive.html okay paste the copied text there and change all the references to archive I'm going to add a new style here. So our archive page needs its own styling. So archive.css and change and the active, get rid of it from about us and put it in archive. Okay. And we don't need to change anything here. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get rid of the content and leave um, the title about. So change it to archive. So we could um, save this, click on archive, and we could see we have the title there. So this is what we are going to be uh, replicating. Okay, so if we're going to our archive HTML, we start by making an article and within our article we're going to have a h3 which gives us the date uh, for this for the articles and within it we have uh, a class a row class and within a row class as usual we have columns so I have column um, md this would be 9 and the other one will be MD3. So go ahead and do the same. So in um, in 9, we're going to have a, a link, a clickable A tag to article. So this would be our actual um, article title. So this would read, uh, this is my first dummy post. So our second uh, column will give us the date for the article, so I'll put 20 December 2014. So I'm going to add a non-bootstrap class 
which is date okay so that's what we have so we've written the first one so we're going to add another row so we could simply copy our row and paste it here and then change uh, change the content so this would be my best article yet change the date to 24 because I am data citing so we have uh, two articles so we could copy um, put a horizontal rule so we have here and then we could copy everything um, from 24 2014 and duplicate it so we could um, copy this here copy and then paste it here okay so we could change the dates around 2015 you can change this to okay, starting a new year with a new a post and my best article again okay save this and there we go okay right so um, we've completed the HTML side so we could make a new style sheet and call this archive.css and we're going to style our row we want to put some margin to it so push everything below by five pixels okay so that's the space there okay and we also want to target the a tag within it uh, the text decoration we want it to be none and the font size we want it to be 18 pixels and the font weight we want it to be normal so we don't want it bold okay so just stay as it is there we go and row when we hover over our, our link we want the text decoration to be underlined like that so there we go it's underlined so we could uh, style the date so the color is grayish so hashtag ccc so that's it it's no longer a focus point it's somewhere in the background so that's the archive uh, page done and it looks exactly as we want it to so in our next lesson we'll work on the contact page which does not exist now but this is what it should look like so this is where we'll stop uh, for this lesson and um, I will see you in the next lesson.